Hello, my name is David Howard. The first thing that we're going to show you is correct ballet posture. And this is Alison Potter. First, we stand with our feet parallel, with the weight resting over the balls of the feet. In ballet, we use turnout, which comes from the top of the leg. Now we turn our feet out, and this is basically where we will start our training. The ankles must be lifted, a support in the knees, a lift in the thighs, support in the stomach, the arms are resting just off the thigh. The rib cage should be poised but not stiff. The shoulder should be relaxed, the neck should feel long, the head straight ahead. Now we're ready to begin. The next thing we're going to show you are the five positions of the feet, which are universal. First position, second position, third position, fourth open, fourth crossed, fifth position. One must always make certain that the turnout comes from the top of the leg, not from the knees or the ankles. Next, we have to learn the five positions of the arms, which vary from school to school and country to country. For our purpose, we will use the following. En bas, first position, second position, third position, fourth open, fourth crossed, fifth on O. And now we will learn the five positions of the head. Erect, raised, lowered, inclined, and turned. Our first exercise is plies. Plie means to bend. These are demi plies. This is second position. The heels always stay down on the floor in demi plies. This is third position. We have to be careful that the ankles are supported and that the knees are over the toes. Fourth open. The foot should feel very lengthened on the floor. All of the toes should be in contact with the floor. Fourth crossed. A demi plie is very important to a dancer. Every step that he does when he's in the center will go through a demi plie. Always watch that the energy flows freely through the body. The weight is never allowed to drop into the knees. The head is poised and there's constantly a stretch away from the floor. Now we have to repeat it all using the other leg. Check that the rotation or turnout comes from the top of the leg and the pelvis is not tucked under or stuck out at the back. You have to be careful in the stretching of the knees that the knees never become locked or tight. The joint areas should be supported and the muscles in the legs used well.
And now in fourth crossed. In the open positions, such as second position, fourth opposite first, and fourth opposite fifth, it's roughly the length and a half of your own foot to find those positions. Always remember your correct posture in your plies. The next exercise is grand plies. There is always a preparation before the exercise begins. Grand plies are a deep bending of the knees. In first position, the heels come off the floor. In second position, the heels remain on the floor. The toes should be spread well in the shoe all the time. We are now in third position. The arm movement that is being used is called port de bras, carriage of the arms. And this is the first port de bras. Fourth position now. A difficult position to do a grand plié in, as it requires flexibility in the Achilles and the calf. Fourth, opposite fifth. And as you notice once again, the heels release from the floor. There should be a gentle rolling through the foot in all of the positions where the heels are raised. Notice, too, how she uses her head, using the inclination and the turn. The energy should travel freely through the body, coming from the torso outwards to all of the extremities. Now she will rise to the demi point, the half point in fifth position, and then turn around always in towards the bar, change back to first position, and we repeat all using the other leg. One must be very careful in the grand plie that the back is supported and not allowed to drop. But at the same time, the body should never feel stiff or rigid. There should be a flow of movement all the time and the head relaxed and freely moving. We are trying to create an illusion of softness and ease. As difficult as it is, it should always look natural. There are many things that one has to think about during plies. Posture, being at the top of the list. Never letting the weight drop down into the knees. And as you can see, the lift of the body each time before it's allowed to go through its downward pattern. The body goes up, the bend forward, The head must be supported in the back bend, which should be through the upper back 
not dropping into the lower back. The feet cross over. This is fifth position. And she will turn from one side to the other. And change back into the first. The next exercise is bat montong du en qua from first position. Preparation, arm second. Tong du to the fourth devant in front. The foot stretches well along the floor. The breath in the body demi plie to the second position and first. One should always try and get the heels together each time in the first position. And notice the lift in the body each time before the demi-plie and the usage of the head. The one to the fourth derriere, fourth behind. Stretching well from the groin, down through the thighs, knees and foot. One should always feel that the energy is sent down through the foot and the thighs stretching in the opposite direction, creating a counter-stretching action of the muscles in the legs. A side bend over. The arm is fifth position. The other side. A rather tricky bend as she's likely to you lose her balance. The arms go to fifth position and she will rise to the demi-point. Notice the poise and ease through the head. She will lift and lower down and first. Remember to repeat every exercise on the other side using the left leg. The next exercise is bat montong du en qua from fifth position. Preparation, arm second. This is a flexing of the foot, increasing the flexibility in the ankles. Enqua means in the shape of a cross. All exercises at the bar are repeated enqua. The heel must be well rotated forward in the second position. The rising up, the feet cross over, on the demi point, the half point, the arm comes down, on bar to finish. The next exercise is batman glisse. Glisse means to slide. To the second position, the foot disengages from the floor, demi plie. Glisse is a downward thrusting movement of the foot from the floor. Demi plie, a roll through the foot now to increase the flexibility of the ankles. Very useful later on in the point work. Arms fifth on bar to finish. The next exercise is rond de jambe à terre, a circle of the leg on the floor. Preparation from first position. This is rond de jambe en dehors, outwards away from the body. The left leg nearest the bar is the one we call the supporting leg. The right leg is called the working leg. Demi plie. And now we repeat on the dong, inside. The leg has to be really turned out, displaying the heel to the fourth devant. Notice the use of the head and the poise in the upper body. Demi plie. And now we stretch forward. 
bending the supporting leg into the back bend and demi plie finish on bar. The next exercise is batman frappe. Frappe means to strike. A single batman frappe en croix. A double batman frappe. Other side. The foot should be striking down to the floor and the knee should be placed well back every time the foot comes into the ankle. Balance, arms, fifth, demi plie, arms, fifth on bar. The next exercise is batman fondue. Fondue means to melt. Preparation and the arm comes on bar. Demi plie with the arm going to demi second, a low second. A chasse en avant, moving forward, transferring the weight onto the supporting leg. Fondue. Stretching to the fourth devant, arm in the fifth. Fondue. Second, en l'air, in the air. Demi plie, arm, demi second. Notice how the elbow, wrist, and fingers are used in opposition to create a flow of movement. And it's important that the movement in the body, forward and back, be established right from the very beginning of the training so the dancer never feels that a static quality is established in her body. Lower down, demi plie, and stretch. Now we will demonstrate Pity Batman. Small beating movements. The first one is done on the floor. The second one is wrapped around the ankle. The third one is crossing from the front to the back. This is called coup de pied, neck of the ankle. The thigh has to remain back. The supporting leg well lifted right from the back of the thigh. Demi plie and finish. Now we will show you rond de jambe en l'air, circle of the leg in the air. Preparation. Rond de jambe en dehors. Rond de jambe on the dark. Double rond de jambe. Just a half circle each time. Our last exercise at the bar is grand battement, high throwing movements of the leg. Preparation, arm to fifth. Demi plie. The supporting leg should remain stretched. Demi plie. Arabesque line. The leg should be right behind the hip. Demi plie. Now rise and balance. Cross the feet well over. Take the arms two fifth. And lower down, arms fifth on bar. And now we move from the bar into the center and demonstrate the seven movements of dance. All of the steps include at least two or three of these movements. Plie to bend. Etendre to stretch. 
reach. Relevé, to rise. Sauter, to jump. Tourner, to turn. Glisser, to glide. Elancer, to dart. Now we follow with the eight positions of the body. Here we show the use of a pomo, which means shouldered. Quasi devant, crossed in front. Fourth devant, facing. Ecarte, separated. A face, open. A la second, facing. A pole, shouldered. Fourth derriere, behind. Quasi derriere, crossed behind. This is a port de bras exercise showing the usage and carriage of the arms. Preparation, demi-second, en bas. First, second, lift the arms and lower down. First, third, release the arms. Notice how the head and the shoulders and the arms coordinate through all of the positions. The body lifts again. Arms first, fifth, second, and down to arm bar once again. The following exercise demonstrates arabesque and attitudes. Preparation. First arabesque. Second arabesque. Third arabesque. Fourth arabesque. Chasse is a connecting step. Attitude, efface. Quasi devant, attitude, derriere, efface, devant. A center practice exercise for a poumon and the use of the head. The head goes towards the leg on the way forward, demi-plie. Notice the use of the shoulders and the head. Moving back, the head goes away from the leg. We call coming forward en avant and going back en arrière. Alison will now demonstrate an adage, an exercise for slow movements. Preparation, arm second. Demi-plie, arm. Demi-plie, the arms are going through third position. A ton lie, forward, and one close into the fifth. Now here you can see, as we've demonstrated before, the carriage of the arms, the usage of the head, and the transference of weight that we talked about while at the bar. The slow movements are very important to develop strength and coordination. This is arabesque.
second position. Demi plie down. And now we have to repeat it on the other side. Check that the knees are over the ankles. Ton lié, en avant, arms fifth position. The fluidity is essential all the time through the arms. And the breath in the body should be incorporated in all the movements. The coup de pied that we demonstrated at the bar. Développé in the fourth devant. A développé into the arabesque. This position is retiré. Demi plié down. And now she will freely relax and stretch the body well up. Notice the poise in the head. Next, Alison will demonstrate spotting and the use of the head, which we use in pirouettes. Notice how the head is working in opposition to the body. She is turning to the right. And the eyes focus to the front each time, and they have to remain in the same place as she comes to the front. Alison will now demonstrate an exercise for pirouettes. Tongue fifth, a relevé from fifth. A relevé from fifth. Fourth position, a relevé from fourth. These are used as a preparation for the pirouettes. Second, fifth. An on or pirouette from fifth. And one to the left. Second, fourth position, pirouette. Second and fourth. Pirouette, finish fourth. We will now show an on de dom pirouette with balancé. Balancé has three movements. This is a chassé, pas de bray under into fourth, and an underdong turn inside. Balancé, the body should be well used. Notice the use of the épaulement. Chassé, pas de bray under fourth, underdong pirouette, and finish.